Greetings and welcome to Not Tonight 2. I'm Catherine of Sky, and a huge thank you to the developers for giving me a key to this uh, game. It is right now in open early beta. So if you head out to their Discord, which I will post in the description below, uh, you just sign up and they will send you a key and you can play it this weekend. So anyway, uh, this, what is this game? This game looks like a disaster. Like we're in post-apocalyptic America land with the Statue of Liberty drowning and we're on a sinking ship. It's actually more like Papers, Please, <laughs> except uh, the first version, Not Tonight One, took place in England and you were a bouncer at a nightclub. And in America land, we have kind of more of an overarching story, which I'm really interested to get into. Uh, the different, there are differences between the two games, but both of them definitely have the same sense of humor, which is amazing. I really enjoyed Not Tonight One. I didn't think I'd like that kind of gameplay. Like I never, never played Papers, Please, but uh, I was drawn in and I played hours and hours. So I was really excited for Not Tonight 2 to come out. Anyway, let us start the game. And uh, yeah, let's start out with a New Year's Eve protest. The Honeybee Seattle Pacific Zone, USA. December 31st, 2020. And I didn't get a chance to read the rest. We have lots of graffiti on this building. We've got the high protest uh in front of the honeybee okay i talk to friends hey everyone you came we're kevin here's mary of course we did we couldn't possibly think of a better way to ring in the new year i postponed my raid for this sorry don't listen to him we got your back kev thanks eduardo and look i made signs how long will this take i need to let my guild know uh, let's see. Mmm, get you back to your PC by 11. However long it takes to save democracy. Is that okay, Mary? Can you name a single thing protesting's gonna even solve? Uh, hmm. A single protest can spark a movement. There's a different protest every day and nothing's changed. You've all seen the news about the martyrs. It keeps getting worse. We have to do something. We all agreed to be here, so let's just get it done. It's nice to see you guys tonight anyway. You know I wouldn't waste New Year's Eve for anyone else. Thanks, everyone. First round after the protest is on me. So we have the dialogue. This sets up the story. By the way, I love the pixel art in this game. It's so good and crunchy and tasty. Oh, God, it's great. Seattle deserves better. Reclaim the USA. Democracy matters. Oh, oh no, oh no, a mysterious black van. What the, Eduardo, what's going on? They've grabbed Eduardo. Oh no, this is inconvenient. Most extremely inconvenient. And I love this map. This map is the greatest. I think it is fantastic. Oh, M territory down there. What's going on? We're going to Miami. Ay yay yay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Miami Gulag, Miami Martyr Zone, USA. January 1st, 2021. Eduardo is processed at the Gulag. <laughs> no more hotel here. This is block A. Prisoners behind bars. You wanted me out front, sir? Busy day today. Our special guest is arriving. Yes, sir. Process him as normal. Be nice for now. You know what to do. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, we have our clicker, which we need for stuff. Okay, read the rules. Get ready to click the clicker when you start. So here are our rules. We have a little book here. Crime sheet. We just need to check the stamp in the middle and process. Um, okay, so go. I like to put the clicker over closer to where, yeah, we take the IDs. Select the queue. We gotta walk up. Hand me your crime sheet. There you go. So we gotta drag this over here. Let's see where to put you. We're in A. So in A, return for block B, click for block A. Well, they mean the clicker, which I already moved. <laughs> Sway it into block A, the gulag. Mm. But please. Shut it. In. Now. 
Uh -huh. All right. Another crime sheet. Shoplifting. He's a terrorist. Lock B. Bye. That note doesn't want to stay put. Follow the fence left. Check in with the block B guard. Next. Littering terrorist. This stupid note keeps popping up. I think this this probably I should report that as a tiny bug there. Anyway, he's block A. Let's go. Alright. Oh no. In you go. Crime sheet. Here you go. Moaning terrorist. Now I, I imagine moaning is is the British uh British version because the company who makes this is British. It is basically complaining. So excessive complaining. He belongs in block B, so off you go. Go over there. It's probably worse than block A. Hand of your crime sheet. There's been some mistakes, sir. No mistakes here, son. Let's have a look. Here's Eduardo Suarez. Jesus pressed a uh, thing. Protesting terrorism. Click for block A. Ah, Eduardo, our special guest. Good news, you've been flagged. Flagged? Flagged as a potential illegal resident. Standard procedure, we just need proof of your residency. Standard procedure? Kidnapping me? Just following the rule book. We need your passport and family tree within 30 days. Once we have those, you're a free man, Ed. Can I call my friends? They can bring them. I'm a citizen. Of course. We're martyrs, not monsters. So what now? You stay here, locked up. Call your friends. As soon as they bring those documents, you can leave. Eh -huh. Yes. Back to the honeybee in Seattle. Pacific Zone. Kevin, Mary, and Malik discuss Eduardo's kidnapping. This is just the story part, not the gameplay part. Just FYI. I got a call from Eduardo. The martyrs. They got him. What? Why? They're detaining him in Miami until they can confirm his citizenship. Eduardo was born in the States. He's a citizen straight up. They want to see his passport and family tree. Guessing we can't just drop those in the mail and be done with it. Nope. Delivered in person within 30 days. We're screwed. Ed's grandma has his passport in Montana. Montana's part of Canada now. I can head there. There's a government data center in San Francisco. If my uncle actually texts me back, I have an in. Should be able to get Eduardo's family tree pretty fast. So we're really going to do this? Gotta move now. I'll leave today. If I can take your car, Kev? Uh... Oh, let's see. We can get some spare cash. Go for it. It's further. <laughs> yeah. Either way, we're not keeping the car. Oh, okay. It chooses for us if we're not fast enough. Kevin, you can have the next two shifts here. Thanks, Kenya. I'll run mission control from here. It's 3,000 miles to Miami, and I don't trust you boys to get yourself there. I hope Eduardo's okay. He can handle himself, but we gotta hurry. I've got to prepare for the trip. Everyone, keep in touch. Oh my god, his shoes are great. So good. Okay, Seattle. So we got our friend, I think that's Malik, going down to San Francisco. And Mary is staying in Seattle. Let's begin. Eduardo, we're on our way. Uh, this is my fault. We're going to make it right. Traveling light would be the key. I grab my rucksack to carry the essentials. My bouncer ID, going to need this to make cash on the road. My phone... I'd need to, this to find jobs and stay in contact with the others. I would head east to get Eduardo's passport. Malik's on his way to San Francisco to get Eduardo's family tree. Mary would support us from here. I was curious to see what happened to the rest of America. The news had been disturbing, to say the least. This is interesting. This is like him in the future telling a story about the past. It's a very strange tense to this, uh, this uh, writing here. But first things first, I need cash. I'll accept Kenya's shift at the Honey Bee on Bouncer. Okay, so Bouncer is our app to find Bouncer jobs, but we're going to look at the news first. We have political news happening. A sense of deja vu in Seattle as traditional New Year's Eve celebrations were replaced once again by protests. Alliance President Tobert was hoping to focus on the future rather than the past. We should be celebrating the progress made here in Seattle and across the Alliance. Compare the security of Seattle to the rest of the country. 
Protests, however, are likely to continue, with local residents saying the city is becoming more dangerous. People just disappear, one local remarked. Residents were advised to stay home during the evenings. Hey, that's not good for the bouncer business. Okay, so one thing I... I made a comment to the developers on the discord and if you have feedback please do not hesitate to say so the way to get back is not this thing this thing goes to your bouncer id and your rucksack you have to press this invisible button on the bottom which i don't know why that's there but anyway it's invisible <laughs> and not like a, a phone that i've ever used so anyway we have mary over here hey kevin all okay got work tonight you heard from malik Yes, he seems okay so far. I'll get him to message you. Good luck, okay? I am kind of worried about, like, if Malik is getting stuff in San Francisco and we're already going to go east, how is he going to catch up with us? I don't get that part. But anyway, Bouncer, we're trying not to think too hard about it. Anyway, Honeybee, night one. All right, so typical night at the Honeybee. No minors, 21 and over only. So right now we have one skull of difficulty. This is the game kind of tutorializing and helping us learn how to play. So we get a passing score if we let 15 people in. Bonus one, we get uh, if we have 17 in and 19, we get bonus two. Uh, we are warned if we make five mistakes and a fine if we get eight mistakes. And if we have 10 mistakes, we fail. We shouldn't need to have 10 mistakes. But anyway, hi, Kenya. Hey, Kevin. Thought you may have already left. I needed all the money I can get. No idea what it's like out there. Then a strange man interrupted us. His eyes piercing. His teeth British. You're rich, bouncer man. Uh, nope. Dave, I told you if you're in here, you stay quiet. Sorry, ignore him. He escaped England after the purge. Never been the same since. Any idea why Eduardo was kidnapped? I wish I knew. You know how much gas it is to Montana? Gas prices ain't what they used to be. You need $100 to get to Montana alone. Tonight should be quiet. We ha If you notice, we have zero at the top of our money. <laughs> we have zero monies. Check every ID. Everyone has to be over 21. I will. The more people you get in, the more you get paid. I can do that. All right. So here comes some more gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pixel art. Okay, I'm going to put the clicker down here so it's easier to do stuff. Um, they, One thing that's different is they removed the W hotkey for the clicker. And I don't really like it. I liked it more efficient so my left hand had something to do, but now it doesn't. So anyway, we're in front of the honeybee and hopefully we can get some people coming in here. Remember, this is where we were protesting. ID, please. Drag and check ID. So we drag it over here. Uh, we can select an issue, return to deny entry, click to allow entry, la di da di da Okay, so her date of birth is after the... Oh, it has a cheat sheet here. They have to be born after 1-1-2000 to let them in. They were born after that, so we have to send it back. Go home, you're too young. Now, I have found that you don't actually have to select the thing. You can just send it back and it's fine. Okay, so this is fine. Now, right now, all we have to do is check for that one thing. Um, we don't even care, like... They haven't told us to check for expired licenses or incorrect things like sometimes if the flag is wrong or if the hologram is wrong or if the face it does not match. Yeah, you have to deny them entry as well. But we're just starting out easy here and we're going to see what we can do. Okay, Parker Morgan, la-di-da. Okay, let's go, go. Okay, 2001. Nope, sorry. Not coming in. I'm off. See, so you don't have to select the issue. They don't really, it doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. You go in. There we go. 1984. Sure. Also, if you get to a point where you're checking their photographs, they have to match their things exactly. Like, if she was wearing purple earrings in this photo, do not let her in. She's probably a terrorist. That's how we roll here. We cannot change our hairstyles. We have to look exactly like we have to. <laughs> also, Callum is not a very American name. <laughs> Gosh. 
Oh, the names sometimes are, are interesting, but I think that's probably part of the humor. Okay, so let's see, 98, sure. Yeah, you come in. Shouldn't be too difficult to get 15. Of course, since I'm talking, it takes a little bit more time to explain and we only have until uh, midnight to let people in. Is it either midnight? I think it's midnight, not 11 o'clock, yeah. Hello. Hello. Yep, you come in, let's go. And over here on the right, you can see the fine that we have to pay. Okay, there we go. Uh, the fine is eight pounds. Are we using pounds now uh, for 10? Uh, oh, eight pounds for the uh, fine and 10 is the fail condition there. So surely we're not in pounds, are we? Let's see. We need to check this when we get paid. I'm curious now. <laughs> okay, 1976, go in. Go, go, go. All right. 91, sure. Okay, we're at 18. 93, yep, go. Bling, we got the nice musical sound. Now, in the previous game, you used to get a bonus if you had more people coming in, like just a couple of dollars per head or a couple of pounds, I guess it was, uh, since we're use we were using British country and British land, which makes very good sense. Um, but in this one, it doesn't seem like we get any uh, monetary bonus. So that's kind of... It's kind of like, no, why? I really want it, please. <laughs> so it kind of made you like care about like, let's go as fast as possible. Same thing about uh, pressing W. Instead of clicking this manually, I would love to have a hotkey for that. But uh, you have to understand all of that stuff is game balance. So if the game is not, you know, a game has to be balanced. And if it's balanced around moving the clicker to the most convenient spot, then that's what we got to work with. Because, I mean, there is supposed to be some monetary pressure in the game. So, anyway, back into the honeybee. And all done. So we have also, you notice up here, the States of America, which are no longer united, clearly. Okay, here are our numbers. I like now that you can do the dialogue while the numbers are counting up as well. Uh, so we did get 150 total for here. You don't get 50 plus 100 plus 150. It is 150 total. Uh, all done. Killed it out there. You're forgiven for leaving me a short a couple bouncers. Thanks, Kenya. Here's your pay. $150. Another shift tomorrow before you leave? Sure, I'll take it. Now we can actually mouse over Seattle here. Uh, and these are our goals. We have two jobs. We need to perform two jobs, basically. Two boun 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 bounces? No. So, uh, yeah, two jobs. And then talk to mom. We already have our $100. We have $150. We're great. Um, it looks like let's click on the explore thing. Now, there has been an issue where sometimes the post-it notes are not visible. They're kind of like slivers on the bottom. I had that issue. So if it if it is, just kind of like look for the shiny. Because uh, I was like, oh my god, I can't progress. How come? But uh, the devs are working on fixing some of the little bugs here and there that have cropped up. Work didn't leave much time for sleep. It takes its toll. Your health drops minus 10. Ow! Oi. Okay, so there we go. There's our health. Life, if this goes, I'm dead. Okay, I need to go see mom too. Hey mom. Kevin, did you eat? Just came by to tell you I'm leaving Seattle for a bit. I need to grab my Canadian ID. And can I borrow your car? Why? Are you finally getting a real job? Uh, Eduardo's been arrested. He needs my help. That earned me a spatula to the head. Oh no, <laughs> your health drops. No, I guess we should have lied to Ma. I believe in telling the truth though, so. And a very loud, very insistent lecture in Mandarin. Oh no. About how I was hanging out with the wrong friends. Luckily, my mom's a great multitasker. You gain morale 10. The nagging never stopped her from serving up steaming bowls of beef noodle soup. The food was always worth the lecture. High morale gives you more time to make decisions. All right, cool. Take these so you don't get hungry. So we received a box of dumplings. We can examine items in our inventory. Here's your Canadian ID. Okay. And my car keys. Don't go racing like you did in high school. My drifting days are over. Thanks, Mom. I headed back to the honeybee. Okay, so we have stuff. So here's our old Canada ID. Okay, let's 
go back. We have mom's dumplings. We cannot use these right now. I guess they're going to come in handy later. Uh, but I was thinking we could use them to improve our health slightly because we took a spatula to the head and it just like reverberated through the whole body. Uh, anyway, let's go to our text messaging program. Oh dear, we got one from Martyr. Oh no. This is the Martyr's automated threat system. Deliver Eduardo's document called Passport to Location Miami within 30 days. Do not reply to this message. It's automated, see? Like our guns. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's... Oh gosh, I always keep thinking that's the button for the phone. Nope. Let's go to our bouncer app. And see, here's our honeybee. Let's go take the job. This time we need 15 to pass, 16 for total of bonus 2. On the sidewalk, I bumped into an unforgettable face with eyes that pierced into my soul or the trash can behind me. Couldn't quite tell. Hey, hey Dave. Oh, it's Dave again. <laughs> Hi, bouncer man. You working tonight? I love his traffic cone hat. Uh, yeah, how'd you know? This cone mate hides a surveillance device. I know all. Whatever you say. My device compels you to let me into the honeybee tonight. Uh, we'll see. I headed inside quickly. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. You remember what to do at the door? No miners and more people means more bonus. Yep, and also check for expired IDs. One more thing. Dave's band. Oh yeah? I saw him outside. Don't let him in. He trashed the place at lunch, flipped his cone over some customer eating soup. Medicine. The British hate soup that much? Well, I guess. Anyway, he doesn't step foot inside. Yeah. No problem. Okay, so no Dave. Can't let him in. So here's our date, by the way, at the top. Um, it is day, month, year. I actually set it up to be American style, so I'm not sure why it reverted. Uh, but it's first month, second day, because uh, we started on January 1st, and it's not all the way into February yet. Uh, so anyway, because I, I wanted to be more like local and have a local date instead. Anyway, um, right. So no over, over 21s. Here we can see the stuff, check date of birth and expiry date. Uh, so it has to be at some time after the first of this year. ID, please. Hi. Okay, so hey, da, 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 that seems good. Yep, you can come in. ID, please. Felix Davies. Okay, you're good. Okay. Paige Andrews. Yep, we're all good here. I love how the music like fades in and out as they open the door. That is such like a nice... I don't know, an atmospheric thing. It's great. Really very detailed oriented. Oh, dude, that's Dave. Traffic cone hat. So can you let me in, bouncer man? Kenya said no, Dave. She won't mind, really. I can make it worth your while. Let me see. Hmm. Nope, sorry. Bye. Sorry, Dave. I'm surprised you didn't give us a bribe because that's a thing as well that they do id please okay february 2021 you just made it in girl i like their outfits too i think they're really funny funny good like her striped sleeves there that was great hello 81 yep you're good hello hello 98 okay 24 we're good uh 77 sure Okay, let's go. Mm, yours is expired. Sorry, lady. Next. I will be making a complaint. Uh-huh. Okay, there we go. You're good. Now, as we're going to go along, we're going to have to, like, check more and more stuff. Um, but this game also has some really interesting uh, things, as we will see very shortly, uh, that are different from the first game, which are kind of... Interesting. I don't know if I like it or not, but it's interesting at the very least. <laughs> it adds variety. Okay, there we go. You're good. Okay, 85. Rhode Island. This is the funny thing about this. It's like the different states. It's not 
Like a driver's license would not have the same format from state to state. They are quite different. So, um, but I guess this is future land where they have actually uh, unified formats or something. I like her shoes, those are great. Uh, there we go, like high heeled boots with like buttons, brass buttons on them, nice. Okay, sorry Amelia Scott, gonna have to say no girl. Nope, you're too young, bye bye. All right, so let's see, we have 19 in so far, you're good to go. ID please, 80, yep, there we go. He's got ear muffins on. It's probably cold. Yep. Okay, let's go. 89. Oh, 2018. Sorry. Nope. It's funny when they have like, I've always thought about like, if an ID is expired, that doesn't even make sense. As in like, you're not going to get any younger with an expired ID, right? Like, I never quite understood that. I guess it has to do with forgery and how people, like, I don't know, do stuff. But, yeah, I always wondered about that. You ain't getting any younger. Okay, 2021, you're good. But we got a ton of customers in today. It's real good. Yep, and total closing time. Okay, we get, like, two seconds out or two minutes after the hour. But, yeah, midnight is closing time. Very cool. I love this, like the warmth of the windows at the honeybee. It's really cool. Like it a lot. That's it for my shift. You did it. Packed house all night. Happy to help. Here you go. 150 monies. Thank you for keeping Dave out. I kind of felt sorry for him. Don't feel sorry about a Daveless night. Here, a bonus for you. Thanks, Kenya. And since you covered both shifts, I'll pay for half your gas out of here. $50. Yay, that's a lot of money. Be safe, all of you. Of course. As I was heading home, I bumped into Dave. You didn't let me in, but I get it. Kenya's the boss. I used to run a pub back home. Yeah, I remember Dave. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Anyway, you've inspired me. I'm going on a trip as well. I'm going home. Where's home? England. Can't be any worse than this. I'm heading east on the coach to Detroit tonight. See you around? Huh, maybe. Good luck, Dave. I headed home. Montana tomorrow. All right, so we're going to Montana land next. Aha, we have a post on the top. Oh my God, it's great. I had enough cash to get to Montana. Time to go. Although working last night didn't leave much time for sleep, it takes its toll. Oh no, we're at 79. Bye, Seattle. And we leave. My mom's car was slow, but reliable. I topped up the gas on the way out of town. Gas to Montana, $100 for one day. Off we go. Montana, passport, Miami, easy. There we go. It'll be fine. So we're going, we're walking slowly, even though we're taking a car, sort of. <laughs> Okay, we can look at this texture message. Oh, we got a message from Malik. Cool. Hey, Kev, how's your mom's car? Great. My mom drives a Ferrari. Right. Good luck with that. I'm in Cisco. You? Halfway to Montana. Okay, stay safe. See you in Miami. Wait, she has a Ferrari. That can't be right. All right. When America went down the drain, Canada swooped in to save Montana. It's land of poutine. That's good stuff. I've never tried it, but man, I want to... So getting there meant crossing the border. I rolled up to a border control officer and prepared for interrogation. What's the reason for entering the country? Um, hmm. Kevin, I'm here to work as a bouncer. Bouncer man, eh? Got any idea on you? Yeah, let's see, use an item. Oh yeah, use old Canada ID, I think think I, for whatever reason we can't actually select our bouncer id i don't get that uh so we're gonna use this here's my canadian id ah oh, you're canadian welcome back he apologized for the wait and waved me through wow <laughs> that was nothing like getting into the u.s this worries me because over here is another border control point and i'm worried that we're gonna have to get out of montana at some point though we could stay they have snow and they have poutine and it's great someone's calling Hello? 
Hello, and thank you for signing up for Mapo. I didn't? Who is this? I'm your Mapo account manager. You're now subscribed to our very exclusive drone reward program. I don't understand. Our mission at Mapo is to re-establish liberty in America. However, it's extremely dangerous to actually travel right now. No one is usually that's, uh, I, I mean, brave. Uh, so Kenya signed you all up for a free trial. <laughs> she did, huh? I didn't realize it was information to share around. Complete Mapo quests at each location. Then you'll get a reward. Just like quests in a video game. This is no game. Completing Mapo quests will boost your health, morale, and even your wallet. Uh -huh. Oh, Unsubscribe. <laughs> yes, I know that's my reaction to it. Go away. Mapo quests will be delivered on to you on arrival in each location. Complete all quests for in a location for a special reward. The line went dead. I drove on. Why did Kenya give out our information? I... I know, right? It's like, no, please do not. Oh, whoops. So, yeah, for we can't use our ID card. This one. I thought that's what he wanted. I arrived Billings, Montana, New Canada. Okay, so we need to do two jobs, $200 to leave, and we need to find Ed's gran. Uh, all right. So this is another non-Americanism. Usually we say grandma instead of gran. Gran is very British, I think. Um, yeah. So our Mapo quests are... <laughs> I don't know what to think about this. I, I think that they're too vague. Cute and warm. Poutine and Mr. George. Like, huh? How do I even know how to target these? All I knew is that they auto-complete when they're done. So what I've seen is that... I think if you choose the right dialogues, uh, you get the side quest completion, as we will see very shortly. If you don't get the things, or if you do a shift and then save the game, I, I say that word save uh, because it doesn't actually save. Um, if you quit out after, like before you finish an area, it resets the whole area. So be sure to only quit when you're out of this city uh, or uh, whatever city. Anyway, when you finish all the things. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and explore. Billings was covered in knee deep snow. I took in the view, a sky so wide it stretched clear to the horizon in all directions. I live in a place like that too. I have over 180 degrees of sky and it is glorious. It was also freezing. I'll need to get something warm to wear. I like the cold. First, the passport. I need to find Eduardo's grandmother. I asked the first person to pass by. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. My friend Eduardo Suarez used to live here with his grandmother. Do you know her? Beats me. Try, ask, uh, try asking Winifred at the Grizzly. She knows everyone. This is a grizzly man at the Grizzly. This is highly amusing. Where's that? You not from here, boy? Uh... I'm from America. What's left of it, anyway? Amen. We get this state back to its rightful place. I'll tow it back myself if I have to. Didn't prepare for this trip, did you? Take this hat. Scraped it off the road earlier. <laughs> Gained item. Varmint hat. Mm-hmm. Yes, let's look at this. Aw. It's like a tiny fox. Poor thing. Let's wear it. We know... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Ew. And uh, thanks. <laughs> That'll keep you nice and toasty here in God's country. The grizzly is now called the Mountie. I get it. Canadians, eh? Bunch of no good syrup guzzlers. They can take their metric system and shove it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Head to U Valley. Can't miss it. I backed away. Quietly. <laughs> there is an opening at the Mountie. I'll take the job on Bouncer. Okay, so we have a thing here, which is... Let's look at our news. Local news. A sense of deja vu. Wait, did we already see this? Yes, we did. Why is this new? Local news? Oh, here it is. Okay. 
Citizens can look to reap the benefit of Canadian rule in Montana this month. Since Canada annexed Montana after months of negotiations with the Alliance, the population have struggled to reap the benefits. This is set to change as all citizens will get free poutine for just entering an entertainment establishment. The Poot In to Help Out scheme is marked as the first of many to celebrate Canada. You know, when you write it like that, it sounds almost like someone else's name. Some teens outside Chief's, uh, Chief's Kitchen Shop, Ch Chief's get Kitchen, <laughs> words, Chief's Chicken Shop stated how great this was. What? Hell yeah, Canada, we love poutine. <laughs> okay, so yeah, good stuff. Uh, Mary. Let's see. Uh, hello? Oh, God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Wait. Yo, yo, girl. Can't read that fast. Okay, we'll just let it pause. Pause. Malik says you're in Montana. Yeah. Friend of mine is traveling North America. She's on something called a gap yaw. What the hell are gap yaws? Some kind of pilgrimage. If she says hello, look after her, okay? Not very likely. I see her, but okay. I wonder if this is like a gap year. That's like a gap between high school and college that happens in America, which people, hmm, they do various things. We'll just say that. All right, let's go back phone wise to our bouncer app. Hello. Okay, so Mounty, we now have two skulls, which is kind of scary, but it's fine take job no minors fake ids and free poutine hooray hello dear you're the bouncer for tonight yep i'm kevin i'm surprised you need a bouncer for a cozy diner like this the poutine relief act has caused a few issues everyone gets free poutine at the door now Take the poutine and match the sauce to the pole color. Yeah. <laughs> I can do that. Okay. Also check IDs, expiry, and no minors. Yeah, yeah. I wonder why not. Poutine is basically french fries, cheese curds, and sauce. And gravy. Uh, so it's not dangerous to small people, minor people. Quick question before I start my shift. How do you know, do you know anyone with a grandson named Eduardo Suarez? You know Eduardo? That's my grandson. Oh, but you're a... White? Yeah. Eduardo's a quarter Montanan. Makes it even stranger that the martyrs grabbed him. Martyrs? Oh, no! My poor Eduardo. I told him not to leave Canada. We'll have to talk after we close. Okay. Okay, so here we have a sauce maker thingy thingy. Uh, a sauce. I wish I could click this to get rid of. Oh, I can. Okay, nice. Uh, all right. So rules. We check for date of birth and expiry. We check the color of the bowl and match the sauce. Now I'm going to put the clicker here and you will see why very shortly. Uh, and let's go. This is the grizzly, which used to be, or the mountie, which used to be the grizzly. <laughs> all righty. Fresh beer. Okay, so I guess they serve beer with their poutine. So let's go here. Sauce. While we check this, it looks okay. So now we see Canadians, and they have kind of a red ID card, which is nice. Okay. C97, 2003. Sure. ID, please. 78. Okay, sure. Okay, I'm doing a quick check, and I really should be a little bit more thorough here. Checking for stamps and thingies, sure. Hey dude, how you doing? Let's see, 2003. Oh no, that's, uh, nope, sorry. Sorry dude. You can give him sauce, it's fine. Like I care. This guy's got massive stripes there, unless he's like a doorman. Uh, Patrick James, yep, I think you're good. Oh no, I forgot to do sauce. There you go. He was not going to go in without his sauce. Oh, no, I know who this is. Hey, Kevin, right? I'm Mary's friend. She messaged you. Hey, what's a gap ya? A sabbatical. A year of life-affirming travel and personal growth. But it's turned into a year of survival in a dystopian nightmare. America, huh? No, England. But I escaped and I'm heading to Orlando. Can I get some poutine? I haven't eaten for days. Let me see. 
Yeah, that's Shannon, all right. I knew it. But yeah, she's not old enough to be in here, so sorry. You sound like my dad. Bye bye. Oh, I should have done it in an Irish accent because she is Irish. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I'll be Rogers. Yeah, you're too old too. Too young too. Some something. Yeah. They're not very polite when they leave in such a way, uh, such a manner. All right, Rowan Graham. Wow, that's another very not American name, <laughs> Rowan. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Bella Mills is allowed to come in. Okay, let's see. Hello. Okay, you can come in as well. Hello. Let's grab their bowls. Yep, you're good. Hawaii, how nice. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go. Yep, everything's good. Hello. Okay, yep, go, 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 go. Hello? Oh, there we go. That's interesting. Okay, yep, good. Maybe I hit too low on the button that other time. All right, let's see. We have this. We're checking dates. Maisie, yep, go in. We need 13. Let's go, go, go. Shove people in this place. Yup. Oh, they have pale ale, pale lager, blonde ale. Everything's pale about this place, apparently. Okay, let's go this. And go. ID, please. Let's go. Oh, uh, yep. Hurry up. Let's go. They do take their time. Like, you would think that they'd have a sign at the front of the queue saying, uh, well, line actually, <clears throat> uh, say, saying, have your ID out or something like that. They do that in McDonald's here. They're like, have your money and, and stuff ready. Uh, yeah, so here apparently they're not doing that. We have to ask for it every single time. Oh, okay, we got 21. That's a good, good uh, number, good number. Okay. Here we go. All done. Wow, I'm impressed. As good as my grandson. He trained me back in Seattle. Hope Ed's okay. Here you go. So all my friends are on our way to help Eduardo. Thank goodness. I'm glad my grandson has good friends. I need to bring his passport to Miami. He said you'd have it. It should be in my office safe. Let me check. Winifred retreated to the back room. She emerged a few minutes later, shoulders slumped in defeat. Goodness, it's gone. But now I know why George was rummaging around back there. George? Eduardo's cousin. I probably is Jorge, but um, he worked at the front door for a night, then vanished. But it's funnier if it's George. You'll see why soon. Uh, he even dropped this. He's so careless. So we got George's bouncer ID. Any idea where he is? Check around Chief's chicken. H how am I kitcheny chickening this? Anyway, he goes there a lot. If you come back tomorrow and work, I may have heard something by then. Will do. See you tomorrow. All right, I want to check out this ID. Okay, so we still need to do two jobs. We got our cute and warm. That must be the roadkill hat that we got we don't have the poutine and we don't have mr george all right so let's check in our inventory here here's george's bouncer id he's george suarez uh okay good good and i guess we're good explore luck was on my side the universe had led me straight to eduardo's grandma but working there didn't leave me much time for sleep it takes its toll it was freezing out. Good thing I wore this hat. Your varmint hat helped here. I need to track down George. I headed to Chief's Chicken. Three teenagers in edgy trench coats, edgy trench coats, huddled together outside. I knew exactly what to do. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> They'll think I'm one of them now. <laughs> Anyone here know a George? We know plenty of Georges. Which one you looking for? 
George Lopez, Suarez, or Clooney. <laughs> we might know him. Why? His cousin Eduardo's in trouble. Him too, huh? Too? Tell me something. George mention anything about Camelot to you? Uh, you mean like King Arthur? Listen, we don't narc that easily. But help me get some poutine. We can tell you all about George. How do I get you poutine? Get us into the Mountie tonight, Boomer. Then you'll get what you want. Uh, I can do that. Of course, he's a teen. We're not supposed to let him in, but I guess we have to. All right, so I headed back to the Mountie. We're running low on health at the moment. This is not convenient. All right, let's go Mountie night two. Uh, take the job. It's good to have you back. Ready to work. More poutine to dish out tonight. Keep out those miners. Fake IDs are on the rise too. The picture, flag, expiration, or holograms can be spoofed. People are that desperate for poutine? My poutine is just that good. By the way, has George ever talked about a Camelot? New Camelot, yeah. We'll talk about it tonight. Okay. Okay, read the rules. When ready, click the clicker to start. Okay, we need to check for color. Uh, some of the IDs can be black and white or grayscale. No stamp and check check all these things. Okay, so checking pictures as well. So let's go. All right, we're out now. We are ready to go. I like how they just like put it over the top of the old sign. That's so good. <laughs> oh dear, that car is having issues. <laughs> yes. Anyway, ID please. Okay, so we got our poutine. 88. He's, yeah, looking like that. Sure. You come in. Oh no! Oh god, I didn't check the expiry. No! Help. Okay, 80. Zach, sure. Yeah. Okay. No. Oh. Red. 89. Jasper. I think it's okay. Okay, yellow. Okay, Heidi looks like herself. Go. Grumble. Lots of grumbling. Looks like themselves. Okay. ID, ID. Let's go. 76. Hair. Yeah. Good. Okay. So let's see. No! This guy bad. Bad picture, dude. That's not you. Nope. Okay. Let's go here. 82. Okay. Good. There we go. Let's see. Yep. Looks like her. Good, good. I like how they're all like bopping at the same time to the music, man. They're like really having a good time. Getting ready for that poutine. I gotta find a place here. Oh, let me in. I'll give you that George info. Okay, don't mess around. No, man. I just want that poutine. Okay, so he's too young, but we're gonna let him in anyway. Okay, in you go. I'll find you later. Okay, last person was underage. Check age. Mm-hmm, sorry. Eh. Okay, so 97 March. Sure, yep, looking good. All right, let's go. I don't know how many of these, like, teenagers we're gonna have to let in, but... We'll see. Don't know if he's got friends. These two are almost twins. Look at that. I don't know if they're random or if they are like intentionally generated that way as customers. That's pretty cool. Okay. Looking good. Go. Okay. Okay. Hawaii. Leah. Yeah. Go. We need just one more to get our next bonus. 97 March. Also, the ones that they discover are underage or expired, those don't count toward your pass goal. So if they find out, they're going to like 
deduct from you. Oh, no, no, oh, no holograms, crap. Darn it. This one has a hologram. Okay, so let's go. Okay, go, go. Okay, 25, Xavier, looks like that. Okay, that's fine. We have to be multifunctional in doing like all of the poutine syruping stuff. <laughs> looks, yeah, okay, good, good. Fine, fine. No person. 90, okay. Sure. Look at me in my silly hat. <laughs> God. The roadkill hat. It's awful. <laughs> no, oh no. All right. It's the end of that day. That was rough. I hope we can get a save point after this because, yeah, that's going to be interesting. All done. Wow, teach George some of that gumption. I will if I find him. Here's your pay. So what's new Camelot? You knew it as Mount Rushmore. Our stone-faced presidents. They've been uh, altered. Why do you ask about new Camelot? George may have run off there. The kids at Chief's Chicken seem to know. Well, there's the Camelot Lunch Theater. They're always looking for bouncers. Get Eduardo back for me, okay? I will. Thanks for everything, Winifred. The kids from Keith Ch oh, geez. <laughs> the kids from CC was waiting for me outside. Sup, fam? Please stop. Sorry. How was your poutine? It was whatever. About George, he's planning something big. We know that much. He went to New Camelot to get help from some wizard out there. A wizard? You heard me, Gramps. The kid wandered off before I could ask more. Oh, I got 600 monies. That's a lot of money. That's cool. Okay, we got all of our Map-O projects done. Um, Let's explore. I had a lead on Eduardo's passport. Time to go. Working didn't leave much time for sleep. It takes its toll. What? I'm going to die here shortly. The cold was bitter, but my hat kept me warm. Okay, so we got a reward. An A. Okay. Can I get some health back, please, or something? Anyway, we're going to leave it right there for now, but I am going to record the rest of this demo. It is a sort of limited time demo on uh, on things. Check it out. Uh, go to the developer's Discord, sign up for it, and you'll get a key for it to try out for yourself. Um, and if you like the gameplay and can't wait for this one to come out, try the first game. Not tonight. It is so fun. I can't tell you that enough. It, it was kind of great. So anyway, um, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.